Today we're going to do a little video on color mixing. So I'm going to use three different types of reds just to show you the difference between how the reds work. And I've got a pyro red light, a pyro red, and a permanent alizarin crimson. So you could try this with any of your colors and if you could substitute cadmium red light and um, cadmium red medium and you could use like a permanent alizarin like I've done here or you could use some sort of a magenta. So that's just to give us an idea of what the slightly cooler colors will do to mixtures. Now you don't see a lot of difference when we just look at the color itself on the palette. With the alizarin you will. I should have taken my caps off first because some of these are tight. My little nutcracker works really good for removing tight paint caps. So this one, of course, is a much darker color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these colors. I'll probably have to add to the reds as I go. But I'm going to mix them with yellow. Mix them with two different blues. So one is a turquoisey blue which you can use a thalo blue, or you can use, like I've done here, a turquoise blue. The other one is a cool blue, so that's like an ultramarine, which is what I've got here. And to each color, I'm also gonna add a little bit of white, just to see what the mixtures do. And you can do this anytime you wanna experiment with your colors, try adding a new color, just get to know your colors better. So let's take each red and add a little white to it. So this one makes a nice peachy pink. Get the paper towel lined up here. This one, not as much yellow in this red and so it also makes a pink, but see how the difference, it's a little bit cooler pink, kind of a bubblegum color here. This one will be different again. If I add more white, you'll see it's still, it looks almost the same, but as you add more white, it will start to look a little bit cooler. So now, let's see how each of them mixes with yellow. This will give you a really vivid orangey yellow, orangey color. Now let's mix this one. Oops, got a little blue on there. Don't want that. Let's get it out of there. Need more yellow because that's a stronger color. You don't see a lot of difference, but there is a difference. It's a little bit cooler, a little more muted, not as bright. And that's because this red, the cadmium red light, leans a little more towards yellow. Whereas a true red is a little more opposite here. Now that'll be emphasized even more when we mix it with this one because this one is veering towards the blue. So though it does, that's a really strong color. Alizarin will take over your palette entirely if you let it. So you can see it's getting even more neutral. Now if we were to add white to each of those, nice and clear. Now let's add white to this one. Still a peachy color, but it's just a little more neutral. And if you were painting skin tone, all this variety of colors would be really handy. This one, see how it's getting, hinting a little bit more towards a tan color as opposed to a peach color. Getting a little more neutral as we go. 
Let's try mixing each of these with the blue. Well, just enough to take it away from the red and away from the blue. So it's somewhere in between. And when we add white to it, you can see this becomes kind of a slate blue color. So when you think about red and blue making purple, it doesn't when it's a warm red and a warm blue. So now let's try the same blue. We're going to this turquoise color still. We'll use the cadmium red medium or pyro red medium, whichever one you're using. And if we add white to it, quite a different color than the last one. Now let's try this one to the turquoise blue. A little bit more. We want something that doesn't automatically say red or automatically say blue. Add a little white. The palette's running away on me. So you can see these three blues are quite different from each other. So now we're going to be adding a cool blue. Which is our ultramarine. And let's take this red again. Which will be kind of a brown color. We add some white to it. It hints at purple, but it's not really purple. It's just a very muted, smoky kind of a, you might use that in a certain kind of a sky. Now we are using this red and the ultramarine. A little bit more of it. This is pyro red or cadmium red medium if you're using that. And now I've added too much, so a little more blue. Let's add a bit of white to this. Now we get to see what a purple looks like. I've got a touch more blue in it than I do red in that, but it's very much hinting towards a kind of a periwinkle purple color. There's that red and this blue. So now we've got the alizarin. You don't really see a difference when you look at all these three mixtures because they're all so dark. But once you add the white, you see a very different color. So this red is a much cooler red, so it forms much more purpley color. I'm going to mix up this because I've got one more thing I want to show you. So let's take, just for fun, see what happens when we take this orange, this greeny kind of color, and this color, and we'll mix them all together. Now the proportions I'm not being real careful with, but it's just to show you what entirely different palette you get when you use different colors. And all these colors will harmonize because they all contain that one color. So just for fun, let's do this, this, and this.
So all your colors mixed together. And if I've leaned a little bit towards the blue or the red or whatever in any given color, it's going to create a different mixture. But, and I think I used up all that mixture, which was the ultramarine blue and this one. So I'm just gonna make a little bit more. I'll put it in here and I'll put this in here. Add some white to it. So you can see a little bit of automatic color harmony going each way and how you can vary all the different colors. If you were doing skin tones, you could use all these variations in there. If you were painting something that was kind of turquoise, you might want to throw a little bit of variations by adding different reds, or you can just use the colors that are in the one line. Just a fun little exercise to play around with color mixing and see how you like the mixtures and which colors you prefer.